Membership sites and CRMs go hand in hand. When you're running a membership site, you need to know that your CRM data, your customer relationship management tool is up to date with everything you need to know about members, including their active membership level, whether they canceled, expired, whether their payments are failing, and any other profile information you wanna track. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use a powerful automation tool called WP Fusion. I'm gonna show you how to add new contacts in ActiveCampaign when new members join your membership site. We'll show you how to add tags based on their membership level, update their fields or contact information in ActiveCampaign based on their settings in the membership site, and last, I'll show you how to keep all the data in sync if you're setting this up for an existing site and want to run a batch process in the background to update everything. Let's get started. Here in my Must Love Dogs demo site, I'm going to navigate to the WordPress admin and install WP Fusion. So you don't need the Active Campaign plugin. That's another plugin available in WordPress.org. WP Fusion connects your membership site directly to Active Campaign or any other CRM you choose. So that won't be needed. So I'm just going to search here for WP Fusion. There's two versions of WP Fusion, a light version that's available for free in WordPress.org, and then a premium version you can get by purchasing a license through their website. The light version can't do as detailed of tagging and contact management as the pro, but I'll show you how to use both, and then you can decide what you need for your membership site. So I installed an activated WP Fusion light. I'm gonna click WP Fusion here in the header. The same menu is available under the settings WP Fusion admin area in your WordPress site. So the first step is set up. We're gonna select which CRM to connect to. This is done through API. You'll have to get API keys out of your CRM and place them here in your WordPress site to create that bridge. So you can see here, there's a load of CRMs that WP Fusion integrates with. And I know from the founders that they're working on many more every moment. We'll select Active Campaign. I have a developer level active campaign account, which does work to do this testing. So I'm gonna get my information from there. So uh, within active campaign, log into your active campaign area and go to settings, developer. And here you'll get your API URL and your API key. Both of these fields are needed in order to connect your WordPress site through WP Fusion. So I'll just click back over and paste my API URL in this field and my API key here. Um, once this is done, you can click to connect and it's going to load any uh, contact information, any lists you have and any tags that exist. So it looks like this was successful. I've successfully established a connection between Active Campaign and my membership site. So I'm gonna click save changes and now we're good to go. So there's a notice that I'm using the free version, totally fine. Let me tell you what the limitation is. So with Paid Memberships Pro, you have members in lots of different membership levels. Probably in your email marketing or CRM, you wanna know what level people have. With the light version of WP Fusion, you won't be able to connect that level of information between the CRM and the membership site. You can still create contacts when they sign up through your membership site, whether it's a free or a paid account, and you can still assign a set of default tags for users in the WordPress site as well as lists. Um, it can do some contact field merging, but if you need the full integration, which we'll demo after this, you're going to have to pay for their personal license or higher. So let's demo the basic version and then you'll see how seamless it is to upgrade after. So just under general settings, you can select from existing tags in your active campaign or you can create new ones. So I'm going to say members is a tag I want added to people. I won't add them to any unique lists. I prefer to use automations within Active Campaign to designate what list people should be on and use the tags to send things rather than moving people around between lists. There's no other settings you have to adjust here. So just set that tag and click Save Changes. And now let's look at what happens when we sign up on the membership site front end. So let's see what happens when we join the membership site and reflect that contact updated in Active Campaign. Okay, I'm on a test checkout page in my demo site for a free membership level called Beginner. I'm gonna sign up and then we'll look at how this looks in the active campaign side where the user gets created as a contact. And submit and confirm. So this process is my free member checkout. I can view my membership account. I have the beginner level automatically. That's all paid memberships pro functionality. So let's click over to our active campaign contacts list, refresh this and see if our new user got created here uh, within the system. So you'll see that's that user that just got created on the membership site is now tagged and active within Active Campaign. If I click through to view, you'll see that they have that members tag, which is the tag we set up. So that's really cool. That's all free functionality. You can connect to Active Campaign. 
The thing it won't do is manage if the member cancels. It won't remove that tag or remove them from active campaign. So it's not a great way to keep those databases in sync. So let's move on to the second tutorial, which is the premium version of WP Fusion, where you can get a little bit more specific. Okay, I'm logged back into my admin account. I'm ready to start the second tutorial where we use the premium version of WP Fusion to do all this. So let's navigate to plugins, add new. And then I have already gotten my account from WP Fusion and I have my plugin file downloaded to my site. Perfect. So now we have WP Fusion, the professional version, installed and activated on the site. It automatically will deactivate the light version of the plugin and migrate your settings. So that's super cool. We don't have to reconfigure our active campaign connection. So I'm going to navigate over to the WP Fusion settings area. I'm going to delete this default tag that we had there and um, remove that so that we can set it up on the membership specific. So if you go to integrations, you'll see a notice that they detect that Paid Memberships Pro is active on the site. So it automatically loads the compatibility files between the two platforms. So no other settings needed there. The thing that I want to show now is when you edit a membership level in Paid Memberships Pro under membership settings, there's a new section added for setting the WP Fusion tags. So it's here under other settings and it can apply tags uh, to the checkout. It can remove the tags when their level changes. Um, you can set up a link so that when people get tagged in active campaign, it creates the member. I'm not gonna show that today. That might be a cool one to do at another time. You can also do things related to payment failures. So this is a free membership level. We don't see those options here, but it does handle if the membership has an expiration date or payments, um, certain tagging actions that happen there that you can do automations in WP Fusion for. I'm just gonna set the tags for uh, people in this level. This was called beginner. So I'm gonna call this beginner members. And it's neat that you can create the tags here. They automatically get created through the API in the active campaign account. So I love that. I like checking this setting to remove tags when the membership cancels or expires. We want our data to stay in sync. We want to be able to email the beginner members and know that we're emailing the full active paying list, or in this case, free member list of people. So I saved that. And now we have connected our beginner level to a certain tag. So when people check out for beginner, they'll get tagged that way. The next thing I want to do before I go and test this is go back to the WP Fusion settings and contact fields. I want to show you a new section of different fields you can match from your Paid Memberships Pro data into your WP Fusion data. So you have to create the fields first in the Active Campaign account, and then they become available to you to map to other things. So let's go back to our uh, Active Campaign, go to Contacts Fields, and we're going to add a field called Membership Level. And just put it in the General Details area. Cool. So now we have a field on our Active Campaign account called Membership Level. And in this side, we just want to, on the contact field section, click uh, to synchronize things. It'll grab whatever, all of the field options we have. Now we can locate that membership level row and assign the field we just created as a custom field. So that will get updated when the contact gets created in Active Campaign with their active membership level information. If there's other stuff you want to connect. You just need to create a field in Active Campaign for each of those values. And then you can use this section to map the information. You can also use this for those custom fields. So if you wanted to synchronize other user meta fields that you're tracking in your membership checkouts, you could do that here in this area. So I'll click Save Changes. I'm going to open a new incognito window quick, and then we'll do the beginner level checkout. Perfect. So here's my incognito level. I'm going to click Compare Plans, select the free plan, and do another checkout. This time what we should see is that the, I'll call this AC Test 2, we should see that the contact gets created with the right tags for their level in Active Campaign. Perfect. All right, so let's complete this checkout. Awesome. And let's go to our Active Campaign area and see if our new contact got created. Okay, here's the second test account, and you'll see they got tagged with that level specific tag. They have a custom field here. Their membership level is reflecting the level they checked out for. So that's the version of WP Fusion that's premium but it's really worth it to keep that data in sync. Um, it's not too expensive anyway. And the last thing I wanna show you is the WP Fusion advanced settings to do like a batch background operation. I'll just show you where this is located. It's settings, WP Fusion, and then advanced tab you wanna click on. So let's scroll down. There's a section called batch operations. When you have the premium version with paid memberships pro active and installed, there's two additional operations you can do here. One will update membership statuses, and one will update membership meta. So you 
can use these um, to run a batch operation and update people in Active Campaign with their current information. It runs in the background, so it's not going to weigh down your site. And it's really important if you're adding this to an existing membership site with a large database of members and you want to keep that data in sync. There's other ways to do this. You could do an export of your Paid Memberships Pro members list and import to Active Campaign with their current information if you didn't want to do the batch method, but it's pretty cool that WP Fusion gives you a method to do this. There's a link in the description of this video to the full tutorial we have written up on our blog of how to set all this up. So if you want to, if you're more of a reader than a visual learner, you're going to want to go check that out. Um, what's really cool about this is that it's not only for active campaign, but the same steps I used here pretty much apply to every CRM that integrates with WP Fusion. There's some really big CRMs like Fluent CRM, HubSpot, MailerLite, and more. So if you're using any of these platforms, go check out their website and see what the list of different available integrations are. You might be surprised to see you don't have to hire that private developer to build something just for you. I'm Kim Coleman. I'm the co-owner of Paid Memberships Pro. We've been membership plugin for WordPress for over 12 years. Check out our other videos on this channel. Check out our website if you're interested in starting your own membership site or learning more about automations to save you time.